So, um, so my name is Benjamin Hale. I'm an associate professor uh, at the University of Colorado at Boulder. I uh, work in the field of philosophy and environmental studies. Um, I, uh, I came to Doha this time around to, um, to talk about important principles in environmental ethics. And the position that I uh, took in, in, in my paper and in the presentation was that, um, that at least as far as identifying very clear principles, um, that we uh, in, in, in the West uh, have, have not yet settled upon uh, any, any uh, discrete principles, but rather that um, it's actually the process of, of discussing and working through, uh, working through important values and principles and commitments and policies um, itself that is, uh, that is worthwhile and um, one that we ought to uh, endorse and support where, where we can. Um, and it's my view that um, many of our environmental problems uh, are, are, are in a way a consequence of our neglect, uh, uh, not necessarily of environmental value, but rather of our, uh, our, our uh, negligence with regard to this process of thinking through um, the reasons why we take actions or why we um, do things. Um, that that very much have an impact on the environment. So um, the position I take uh, here is that we should, uh, where possible, do what we can to um, seek justification for our actions from other people who will be affected by by our actions, uh, and um, hopefully that will help to create a, a more environmentally friendly world. The uh, the I think the the entire workshop is really. Uh, is is really sort of built around the idea that um, that if we can bring together scholars of uh, of ethics and of law and of conservation, um, both from the West uh, and from the Arab world, um, that um, that hopefully um, this sort of meeting of minds will create a platform for um, precisely the kind of deliberation that uh, I was just talking about, which is that. You know, we we uh, we as a global community have to address um, not only our regional problems but also our international problems, our global problems, and many environmental problems nowadays. Climate change, in particular, but also um, but also many other non-climate change related uh, problems like habitat loss, ocean acidification, uh, fisheries degradation, and so on. Many of these problems are the consequence of many billions of people operating. You know. Uh, operating according to their own sets of interests, um, and in so doing, basically creating creating uh, destruction. So, uh, the th the, my thinking is that um, workshops and seminars of, of this sort uh, really create a uh, a fertile ground for for uh, basically the global community to to um, find um, uh, common ground or find points of agreement um, that will help to facilitate, um, uh, facilitate uh, environmental change. And I think, you know, this is, I will just say also that this is done to a certain extent um, in the political arena um, when it comes to making international agreements, but, but really it has to be done at all levels. It has to be done at the, in an academic context as well, and, and I'm very enthusiastic about, about this project.